In this clip, Martin Fowler speaks on the only real reason to refactor and why aiming for clean code isn't good enough. When I hear people talking about refactoring, they often say, well, why should we refactor? Well, it's because we want a good quality code base. We want it to be clean. We're professionals. We don't want to leave a mess. We want to do the right thing. And I hear teams frustrated because they say, well, our managers won't let us refactor. We've told them that we need to do this. It's the right thing to do. And they say, well, maybe later we'll do it, but not now. The trouble is, as soon as you talk about refactoring or attention to good design and modularity in terms of professionalism and keeping your code clean and all that kind of stuff, you've lost. As soon as you try to make this argument, you're screwed. This argument you want to ignore. Get rid of it. Instead, focus your argument on simple economics. We're doing this in order to be able to deliver more functionality more quickly. That's the only reason you should be refactoring. And you should think about that in terms of your own refactoring. Is this refactoring I'm going to do, is it going to make a difference? Is it going to help me go faster in the longer term? And there are times when it tells you not to refactor. If you're looking at an area of your code base, which nobody ever touches, and it does work, but you know, people don't ever go into it, they don't need to make changes to it, then you can leave it messy because it's not slowing you down. But when you're constantly feeling, oh, I'm slowed down by the code here, I could go so much faster if the code was cleaner, that is a sign that says you've got to work on refactoring that area of the code. And it's very agreed, it's very hard to justify this to management because if they're not in the code base, they can't see it. But my argument is, we should, is a somewhat controversial one, you shouldn't actually tell them. It's part of your professional responsibility as a programmer to keep your code base clean. Only, you can, only those in the code base can assess whether it's slowing you down or speeding you up and what it seems to get onto that good curve from the bad curve. And it is your job to do that. Because if you're not doing it, you're effectively stealing from your customer. You're making them spend more money, take more time for the same functionality than they would have done had you been paying attention to the economics of how you work. And this isn't talked about often enough. Software development time is expensive, and spending it on something that doesn't clearly impact the bottom line will almost always face resistance, especially when the value is fuzzy or hard to measure. Even when you're both a developer and a manager, the code quality argument often falls flat. It's on virtues, but it's abstract, and the reward of shipping the next feature will almost always win out. That's why reframing and refactoring as a tool to speed up development is so powerful. It brings awareness to the need, and more importantly, it ensures it actually gets done. Because now the pain point is visible, urgent, and measurable. And that last part is often the most important. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.